Hi guys, this is Kyle from the Rugged Store. Uh, this is a continuation of our barcode scanning um, with Tough Books and Tough Pad series. Uh, so we have the Panasonic FZN1 here. Uh, we have a test sheet with some standard barcodes on here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go through this um, and see what we can scan. Nope, I was already in the menu, but I want to show you guys how to get there. All right, so this is going to be your typical interface for any Android phone. Um, so you can see it looks a lot like any Android phone you've ever picked up. You know, this is Android 5.1.1. Uh, so you're going to be pretty used to it if you're used to using a smartphone. Right down here, you can access your apps. Um, in your apps, you will actually see a barcode reader app. Um, now, this app allows you to do a... Um, uh, quite a few things with your barcode. So we're just going to go over a few of those and so you can see you know what you're looking at. Um, so if you want to know what symbologies your this barcode is supposed to read, you can actually click into symbologies and it gives you a list of all the barcodes or, or symbologies that this barcode scanner will read. Um, you can uncheck certain barcodes if you don't want them to pick it up and then you can check them back and that will make the barcode reader pick that up. Uh, and then on multiple of these barcodes, not all of them, you can see things like Japan Postal doesn't have it, uh, but something like Composite Code 93 will have a little options on the side that allow you to go in and make certain changes um, to those um, barcode options. So we're going to go back here and then we're going to go up here as well because the little three uh, button, you'll see a couple things right here. Um, so you can export and import profiles um, specifically for how you want that barcode to be set up. Uh, so if you have only a certain amount of symbologies you want it to read, or if you have some kind of special profile you want set up and saved, you can save that and then you can actually select those profiles and um, decide what profile you want to use for your situation. So it also has this nifty little um, demo feature which actually allows you to scan these barcodes uh, without having a direct app uh, that correlates to the barcode. So we're going to go in those, into that demo, we're going to scan some of these barcodes and see what we get back from that. All right, so the barcode reader on both sides has uh, two orange buttons. Um, either one of these can be pressed, they do not have to be pressed at the same time and that will activate the barcode. So we're gonna start with a data matrix first. Okay, so you see it says your symbology, data metrics, and then the value of course is test symbol because it's a, it's a test PDF. All right, so we're good on the data matrix. Let's try the maxi code. See here again, maxi code, um, and it gives you a little bit of the value. Um, it tells you what that maxi code can actually be used for, which is kind of cool that that, that data is encoded within that barcode. Um, now we're going to do PDF 417. Um, PDF 417 is um, is a symbology that's heavily used on um, driver's license. Um, so if you are a police department, fire department, EMS that need to be able to um, scan driver's license to pull any kind of data, having a scanner that works with PDF 417 is going to be very important. So let's go ahead and give that a scan. Picks it up right away, PDF 417, and you can even see in here that um, it kind of, this looks like it was as encoded data for a 1998 Chevy Blazer, and then it has a registration number. Um, so that's pretty cool that it has some test features like that. And those are all 2D PDF sample symbologies. And now we're going to go down to 1D uh, sample symbologies. That's code 128 we just did. Uh, picked it up just fine. UPC codes. So UPC codes are used a lot in warehouses uh, and on packaging. So if you need this for a warehouse, UPC codes are going to be definitely good to use. Picks it up right away. You can see it has a very good feedback uh, whenever it picks up these barcodes. There's good vibration on device, good audio levels um, that let you know it's scanned correctly. I'm going to go with code 39. Code 39 pick, picked up just as fine as well. And then RSS expanded stack. So this one has, actually isn't scanning. So what I'm going to go do is I'm going to back up. I'm going to go into symbologies and see if this is actually supposed to be scanning or not. So let's see if we can find 
RSS um, expanded stack in here. So it actually appears that uh, this symbology is not supported by the FCN1. So if you need um, RSX expanded stack, um, the, the FCN1 barcode scanner would not be the right one for you. And we're going to go into the interleave 205, see if that one's in here before I go to that. So this should scan, we'll see what happens. And it looks like I'm having some issues with this one as well. And this one actually is in the symbologies. So this could be a bad barcode. Um, it also could be an issue where you actually need an app uh, to be able to scan this barcode. Um, so what we will do for you guys in a later video, if you're interested in needing to scan this barcode, um, the FCN1 is supposed to be able to scan this. Uh, we will get with Panasonic and in a later video we will address this issue and we will let you know how we fix that issue. So that gives you a quick overview of how you can get into the barcode um, app. Um, how you can change some of the settings. Um, you know, you can see some of the reader settings. You have quite a few um, options in here um, to be able to um, customize how you want your barcode scanning performance to go. You can get rid of the haptic feedback. You can get rid of the LED feedback if you don't want any of that, even though I think it's a great feature. Let's jump in a couple other of these, see what they have. Uh, so you have security levels. I'm not 100% sure what keyboard wedge is either, uh, but we will jump into some of these deeper in some of our later videos. Um, it seems every time Panasonic comes out with a new barcode scanner, their app and settings change. So we'll dive into these deeper and we'll give you more um, explanation in later videos. Well guys, that's a quick um, test of the barcode scanning capabilities of the Panasonic FCN1 with some common barcodes. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to give us a call at the Rugged Store at any time and we will answer those questions and be happy to do so. Uh, check back for more on the barcode scanning series and we'll have more to come soon.